What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, hi, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Are you ready to go? Freddy is happy to be back home. Let me tell you what. Woo! Yeah, Fred and I were back home from Arkansas. Boy, howdy, it was wet down there, let me tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. But we're back home to finish out the rest of the waterfowl season, let me tell you. And not only that, we got two things today, two big surprises. Number one, today we're using the choke that y'all recommended me to get. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in just one second. But before we get into today's hunt, I have something very, 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 very special to show y'all. This right here is the Ducks Waterfowl Mystery Box. Yes, it comes in a bag, but we're calling it the Mystery Box. And what it is, this is a $65 value for only 30 bucks. Yes, you are guaranteed 65 bucks worth of Ducks merch in this bad boy for only 30 bucks. You pick your size that you want, and you get a little grab bag surprise, oh yeah. We have sizes small through 4X, y'all. So plenty of sizes for everybody. But for 30 bucks, this is what you might get. Who knows what you get, but this is what you might get, y'all. All right, let's see what we got in the bag. Oh, we got a hoodie and a shirt. Nice, nice, nice. We got an olive, oh yeah, olive hoodie. That's beauty. That is a thermal hoodie, actually, wow. Like I said, pick your size and you don't you don't know what you're gonna get in. I mean, it's awesome. It's always a surprise. Ooh, look at this one. Yeah, yeah, black duck shirt. Look at the back though, the black lab t-shirt. Oh yeah. But like I said, you never know what you're gonna get in your mystery box. $65 value for only 30 bucks, y'all. Pick them up while they last, because they're gonna go quick. They're all stuffed with goodies like this, just like this. But onto the choke that y'all recommended. We're using it today on a little goose hunt out at my lease field. Yes, yesterday I went and checked my lease field and it's loaded. There was probably, I don't know, 1,000 to 1,500 birds in there. There's a lot of specs, lots and lots of specs. But this bad boy right here, oh, dude, I gotta tell y'all, you guys recommended this choke literally 80 to 1. I mean, this thing, y'all love this choke. This was so highly recommended. This is the Kix High Flyer Full Choke. I'm really excited to use it because there were so many of you that were like, Bobby, you have to get this choke. This choke was recommended, literally. I mean, it was 10 to 1. Easily. But we got Mike today. I'm excited to use the new choke. And thank you guys for recommending what choke that you really wanted me to try. I'm really enjoying trying these different chokes, trying a new gun, you know what I mean? Just mixing it up, trying a new setup. I appreciate y'all. Let's get on the road. What, dude? You ready to go or what? He is, man. He's just back here whimpering. You're just ready to go, aren't you, buddy? Well, only a two-man hunt today. It was supposed to be a three-man. Rest in peace, Cameron. <laughs> uh, but it's Mike and I today. We sat up, let me guess, a rough guesstimate, 10 dozen Dive Bomb Canada socks, and roughly 20 dozen Canada Silhouette decoys. So we have about 30 to 40 dozen out at max. We set it tight because I wanted to match the hatch. Yesterday, Bodie and I, my son, we scouted my lease field here, and they were sat up exactly where we're at. I will show you all the goose droppings. There is goose poop everywhere. But this is my wheat field. This is my lease, my wheat field. It's plush, it's finally green. The birds finally found it. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Little Good little two-man hunt today. It should be a banger. And if it isn't a banger, it's gonna be enjoyable, let me tell you. Well, here we go. Check out that beautiful Kansas sunrise right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Feels good to be back in Kansas. Arkansas was a bunch of fun, but let me tell you, it was muddy. Mike and I, we were uh, we were able to drive into the field today, so that felt mighty fine. Why didn't you go to Arkansas with me? You didn't invite me. You wouldn't have wanted to be there anyways. <laughs> it didn't sound like fun in the mud. Your old cranky butt would have been complaining the whole time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It uh, Arkansas is work, you know what I mean? It is work. Old Freddie, he's glad to be back in Kansas. That's for certain. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But here we go, we got the old Retay today, we got the old shot cam on her, and we got that Kicks High Flyer, baby. Like I said earlier, this was the most requested choke y'all told me to get. I mean, it was like a 10 to 1. 
kicks high flyer full. Thank you all for your suggestions. Let's see if we can shoot something. Uh-oh, we got birds coming, Fred. Sit down, sit. They're here, they're up. First group, here they are. Oh yeah, they like it. Maybe we shouldn't have called. <laughs> Yeah, I think they wanted some clucks and yeah. you know, hearing nothing. Darn it. At first I was like, yeah, let's not call. And then they looked at it, and then they went out to turn. I'm like, yeah, let's hit them on the turn, and they hated it. Yeah, so Too late. Yep, too late on the call in there, bub. They don't like something. Yeah, they're, they're coming to look at us and then turning around and going right back the other way. wonder what they don't like. They fly all the way over the decoys. Yeah. Look. Yep. And then get the hell and out then of here. Yeah, and they just turn around and say peace. <laughs> yeah. That's what they've been doing this yeah. morning. <laughs> it's still extremely early. We're only about 15 20 minutes into shooting light here but no wind we had yeah that's one thing we have absolutely zero wind i mean zero it doesn't surprise me the weatherman said seven to eight north northeast so that means zero to one north northeast well we're gonna try not calling looks like it's working a little better so far come on oh they're there coming there we go that leader, that long neck, yeah, yeah. he's the one guiding the whole pack. He said, let's go, boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this coming, Mike. Shoot them. Well, what did we shoot? Two? Yeah. One or two? <laughs> <laughs> I got sick of waiting. I know. That big group, they came back and worked. Here, Fred, let's go! He! Is he going to do a twofer? Is he going to do a twofer? Oh! Oh! Oh, he tried. He tried it. He did it. He did it with snow geese. Oh, he brought really? back two at one time. Yeah. Good boy, Fred. Here. Let's go, boy. Bring me that bird. Look at that little lesser. Dipper, dipper. Little lessers. There we go. A small guy. Real small guy. Come on, Fred. Here. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. No band on the cacklers. That is a cackler for sure. Tiny, tiny, tiny beaks on them. Can you say so? That's definitely a cackler. Yeah, that's a small little beak on that guy right there. Yep. There we go, though. Skunks out of the bag. Yeah. Old Frederick, look, he's ready to go. You're ripping and roaring. I know, I know, dude. He <laughs> is. Time. He's like, is that it, Dad? You, you still suck. <laughs> <laughs> Only two? <laughs> I know, dude, I know. We were tuning the decoys over here. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. There were so, some specs over there. No, that was supposed to be your job. Well, what, what happened? my eye. I didn't know. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Watching these over here. I know. <laughs> we landed two specs on the right side, and I completely forgot about them, too. What are you doing out there, man? Watch out. Here I come. Oh, well, after the first shot with the new choke with the three and a half inch black clouds, I gotta say, I like that choke. I shot one, Mike shot one. We got two birds on the ground so far. Here's our spread today. Looks like a little kidney bean, pretty much. Here's the blob. This is where they need to land up into. The small geese, like lessers and cacklers, they like to land into the blob. You know what I mean? But we're a little worried because we are still a little close to the grass edge. So we're going to loosen it up. 
meaning we're gonna take like this one here just wherever it's tight you know what i mean so look at this this is tight i'm gonna take one here we'll take this one here basically just loosen it up and bring some decoys out farther away from the grass edge i think it's a good idea it's mike's idea so if it don't work let's blame him either way don't i do what i get blamed either way don't oh, I? oh yeah all the time <laughs> blame mike for everything hashtag blame mike hey yeah we're gonna shoot oh oh let him come back next pass yeah this is it this is it Shoot him. Oh. What do we do, too? I suck. Think we, I suck. How did you say I suck? <laughs> I think we dropped two, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We all five. Some good looking snows. Man, I thought we were really gonna wreck them when those first oh, two dropped. Too. I was yeah. like, oh man, yeah. we're gonna splatter them. Yeah. That was awesome. Here, Fred, here. First Bring time, me man. them white birds. Come on, Fred, here. Come on, Fred, here. Oh, look at that adult snow. Look at that oh, beauty. Yeah. beauty. Absolute beauty. Dead bird, dead bird. They did it too. Yeah. Woo, that's a bonus for the day, boys. <laughs> yeah. Getting, tricking adult snows oh, like yeah. that. We that's didn't. Fist bump, dude, yeah. A trick in adult snows. Look at this blue. Here, Fred, here. Look at this blue. Interphase blue. Here we go. Good boy. My bird. Look at that. Yeah. He's a younger blue. The white's not fully up his belly. But that's a beauty. Look at him. Still in Kansas. Shooting them snows over a dark spread. We only have out one, two, three, four, five, six snow decoys. And the reason why is when I scouted this, that's all there was. Just a handful. Matching the hatch, baby. That's a, a bonus. Didn't even we didn't even blow a call nothing. That was awesome. Yeah. That was the best decoying birds all day. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Right in the butt. I had to get him shoot. in the butt. I looked <laughs> over and he was doing it, yeah. dude. That was awesome. Good boy, Fred. Here. Over yeah, there. shooting snows over a little dark spread. If you guys like today's video, come on, you know what to do. Uh, I didn't plan on shooting adult snow geese today, but I will take it. Hit the thumbs up button for us. Come on now. And you got to hit it for old Frederick. Good boy, Fred. That's a dude. Set. Only one. There's only one out there. Oh, yeah, that's a warded up little Rossi. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this little Rossi. This is the last bird that did it. Look how warded up his nose is isn't that crazy that's one of the most warded up rossies i've ever seen he's got he has got them everywhere check that out if you all know the exact reason why they have more warts than other than others drop a comment down below and let me know there's some snows out front again here coming up. they are on the way we got two on the way honkers look at that Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a sailor. There. Sailor there. Man, I had to really move in front of him real fast. Did I found out, yeah, I had to put it in front of him. Here, Fred, here. You're Let's go. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> My shell's <laughs> nailing you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, Fred, here. Let's go. That's a big bird. Come on now. Let's wear a bicycle helmet sitting by you. <laughs> wear a bicycle <laughs> helmet sitting next to me. Them old three and a half just come flying out the side of the old retail. Watch out now. Here, Fred, come yeah. on, buddy. Bring me a bandit honker. Come on now. Come on, buddy. 
That'd be amazing. Come on. Let's go. Oh, look at that dog. Come on now. Bring that big bird in here. Oh, look at that big old honk daddy, Frederick. That's a guy. That's a big dude. Look how big he is. Yeah, no nice. band. That's a big, big that's old. Big bird. Yeah, that's a big honker. Yeah. We have a variety of species on the ground. We have a Another honker. We got cacklers. Here. We got a blue interface snow goose. And we got a Rossi and a regular snow goose. We got them all, boys. We need a spec. Yeah, we just need a speck, right? Well, that's it. We are done. Oh, Freddy, you ready to get out of here, buddy? Huh? Not a bad little two-man hunt. I'll tell you what, that was a lot of fun. Mike and I, just us two, that was an awesome little shoot. Shot what we could, you know what I mean? But the adult snow geese, that, that right there made it worth it. I'm telling you what, the new choke, the Kicks High Flyer, I have to thank you all for recommending that choke. I love it. It did great today. That last snow goose I shot, that Rossi, uh, I missed the first shot and he was going away from me and I smoked him from the back. Yeah, just... So, it's no joke. But I wanted to show the spread here while we got some sun action. Here's the blob. This is where they like to come up and sit. Into the main portion, the heavy portion, the blob. Fred, ew dude, come here. Don't be eating goose poop, man. That's what I was saying though, there is a lot of goose poop. I mean, a ton. There's a lot of birds here the past couple days, but some liked this, some didn't. Here's the pile here, we got a blue, and then an adult, very beautiful snow goose, and then this little Rossi, he was the last one to do it. Three Canadas, one being a massive honker. Well, all picked up here. Let's check out the inside of the trailer. Y'all haven't seen it in a while, you know what I mean? Y'all haven't seen it in a while. It's a little, it's a little picked up, you know what I mean? It's a little tidy. Still got a little bit of a mess, you know me. We got everything in here. Everything from pigeon hunting, to snow goose hunting, anything we might need, right? Heck, we even got the crow decoys, baby. If you guys love that video, if you guys uh, got a video in mind, that you guys want me to do. Maybe I have done it, maybe I haven't done it. Drop a comment down below and say, Bobby, you need to do this video or go do this or go do that. Especially why we have the hunting season here. It's almost gone, guys. And Mike and I, were like, we need to get out there today and get it done. We don't have a lot of season left, especially for the Canada goose hunting. But them adult snow geese, oof. Them adult snow geese, let oh, me tell yeah. you. That was the that, that was the cherry on top today. Oh yeah, that was a fist pump there. It was. <laughs> it's all right. We weren't expecting that. Exactly. No geese are hard in general. I mean, you all seen the Arkansas videos, right? Having uh, there's something about it here in Kansas. Adult snow geese, ones and twos, little bitty groups, maybe some singles. They love giving it up over a big old dark spread. I don't know what it is. Not gonna kill a lot of them, but the ones that do it, they do it really, really well. But this is where we had the uh, A-frame today. Check it out. Here's the hole where it was. Tall grass. Didn't have to bring evergreens. Didn't have to brush it in. We just built it right here. Then me and Mike just carried it over the first wall and sat it right back in there. And it looked great. Whew. Well, all done with the goose hunt. Awesome goose hunt. I will recap the choke situation in one second. But before we get to that part, we are here to check the pigeon traps. Y'all have been asking for them. I've been running the pigeon traps and we haven't had much luck. They need checked. Here we go. Hopefully we got something today. Oh, we got them in the far trap, boys. Nothing in this one. Nothing but our bait, that's it. Oh, uh, we at least got two in this one. Check it out, finally. These are the first birds that I have trapped now that winter has came. Now that I got the traps back out, check them out here. We got a black check and a blue bar. Here we go. Check it out. Yeah. Man, it's been a while since I've trapped a pigeon. It has been since the summer. Uh, I got to go get my bucket for these two. But it has been since the summer since we've had any luck. Check this out. Yeah. What happened here? Looks like one died up here recently. Ooh. Well, here we go. Time to get these bad boys loaded up. Come here. Come on now. 
All right, what do we have first? We got a, uh, that is a blue chick there. Good looking old bird, you can really tell by their eyes. Man, I'm still waiting to trap a banded pigeon. That, if that ever happens, seriously, will be epic. Come here, come here, dude. Here we go, second bird. It's a real pretty, mature blue bar. Good looking bird. Good looking bird, all right. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, Bobby, what do you do with the pigeons you trap? If you all know my buddy Jordan, he has a YouTube channel as well. Go ahead and go subscribe to his channel. I will link it down in the description below. He keeps all the pigeons that we trap. He has a huge, and I mean huge, barn loft. That's where all these pigeons go. And that's where we store them. And he breeds more of them and more of them. And then eventually he sells them off. So it's a really cool little process, let me tell you. But I will show Jordan's barn on another video. Let me know if you guys want to see Jordan's barn where I take these pigeons and I'll show you. Because we'll be trapping pigeons every single day, y'all. But as far as the Kicks High Flyer Choke, boys, oh boy, I liked it. I got to tell y'all, I have to thank y'all for recommending that choke because uh, today on that last Rossi, that snow goose, that bird came sweeping in front of me and then headed away. And I missed the first shot when it was in front, but let's look back at the shot cam footage right now. Hopefully I got the shot cam footage. If so, yeah, the bird was going away and I plowed him over. It was awesome. So three and a half inch shell, that kicks high flyer full choke. Boy, howdy, it gets the job done, let me tell you what.